Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Pella. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I'd like to start this morning with a scripture reading from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 20. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Please join me now in prayer. Dear Lord, this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. With gratitude, we thank you for preserving our life for one more day. We thank you for your ultimate gift of love for us, in the form of your Son and the sacrifice of his life on our behalf. Because of this overwhelming gift that we often cannot comprehend, we humbly submit to you. We know, Lord, that we are mere human and cannot instruct you, but you, Lord, can instruct us. So teach us your ways so that we may rely on your faithfulness Teach us to number our days and to use our time wisely to serve you by serving others in our communities. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you have a good day today.